Welcome to your virtual assembly. I'm Jerry, and I hope that you've settled back into school this September beautifully after a very long time away from your friends and your teachers. So today we're going to be thinking about harvest, and because we can't be with you, we've prepared something online. So we're going to have a little story about farming and seeds. And then Hillary is going to share a harvest thought. And then we're going to have a harvest song. And Lucy is going to end with a harvest prayer. Enjoy your virtual assembly today. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the farmer. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him. Oh, hey, everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil. This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Yeah. Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and it's good to have a harvest festival even if we can't be together. In the story, it was really important to listen to the words that Jesus said and we have to do, be really careful and take time to sit and think about what Jesus says to us. And when he says about the seeds, he means the seeds that he's going to plant into our lives. Special seeds. In my basket, I've bought some things that I've grown in the garden. There are tomatoes and apples and a huge sunflower head. They were really tall, much taller than me. And also I've bought some things that we see that we come that come from the fields. I've got some wheat in my hand that we've seen the harvest the farmers harvesting over the last few weeks. And the wheat is made into bread. 
we get tomatoes from seeds. The sunflower seeds, we grow sunflowers from seeds. And apples, believe it or not, start as a small seed. The things that Jesus grows in our hearts are things like, well, you know, the things that you learn in school, patience and kindness, self-control and um, goodness. And perhaps my two favourite, patience and joy. If you want to grow a seed into a big plant, you have to start with a small seed and then you have to be really patient and watch it grow. And it's the same with the things in our lives, the goodness and the kindness and the joy and the peace. They all start really, really small and then grow in our lives, our hearts and our minds. So I hope today that you can start with the small seeds and then you will see them grow, not just in your own life, but in the lives of the people around you. Cauliflowers fluffy and cabbages green Strawberries sweeter than any I've seen Beach fruits purple and onions white All grow steadily day and night The apples are ripe and the plums are red The broad beans are sleeping in the blankety bed Blackberries are juicy and rhubarb sour So we now come to a time of prayer and if you want to make this prayer your own just join us with saying Amen at the end of it. Dear God, each season brings us something new to see and to enjoy. With sunny days and rainy days our crops grow larger. Fruit and vegetables in our gardens and crops in our fields ready to harvest. Thank you for all the food we have to eat and those who help to grow it. Let us remember people who do not have enough to eat. Help us to be kind and generous to others in our thinking, our doing and our speaking. Amen. 